Oh, he just got double tased. Pull the vehicle over to the side of the road. Throw the keys out the window. Hey. Ow. 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 I don't want to have to shoot you. I really don't. Okay. Get out of the car. Right now. Get out of the car. This guy's all over the road. Uh, we are now on the opposite lanes of the Elysium Fields Freeway at this time. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR, and as you can see today, we are headed up with the very patriotically themed Harmony Township Police Department. Uh, these skins, uh, I will link to the grapeseed version of these skins, which uh, were made by Stobe. Uh, my good friend Alec M125 modified them with Stobe's permission to uh, for Harmony Township, since uh, they really fit with the uniform I'm using. Um, so unfortunately those won't be available, because uh, I don't think Alec will be releasing them since they're basically just modified skins, that wouldn't be right. Um, but uh, beyond that, you know, we're going to be patrolling up here in the Harmony area today. Uh, you can see you've got a speedometer now. Uh, I noticed, uh, I, I originally found the speedometer, uh, Nasdrabi412 uses this on his channel. He uses a different skin for it, but uh, I was trying to get it to work and it always crashed my game. And then one day I decided to try it again and it didn't crash my game. And I think if you play LSPDFR, you know that's how this shit goes. So anyway, uh, we're going to head out and uh, see what we can get into today. I've got some vest textures you guys are going to see that I might release. Uh, the vest will be available down in the uh, description along with the cars. Um, but uh, if people are interested in uh, the vest textures, I've got a couple for Rockford Hills, uh, Harmony, and a couple others. I will uh, definitely put those out there for people. Uh, but anyway, enough, uh, enough of me fucking talking. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. All units, we have an ambulance call on... That dude is so lucky. Because I was definitely going to pull him over. Our ambulance has a wounded police officer in critical condition. Ensure the ambulance has a clear path to the nearest hospital. Get their code 3. Alright, yep. Let's go ahead and get out here and help that ambulance out. Here's the ambulance. I don't know where we're taking him exactly, but... Alright, which way are we going here? Alright, come on, man, let's go. We gotta get this officer to the hospital, so let's do this. So we blocked that intersection there, now we're gonna get out in front of him again. See if we can get some people out of the way here. There we go. Keep having to look behind me, but you know that also brings up the ultimate backup menu. There we go, I can do that. He's with us still. Not going as fast as I would like, but I guess maybe they might be working on him in the back of the ambulance. And, you know, they need a stable platform to perform whatever whatever treatment they can before we get to the hospital here. Maybe escorting him up into Sandy Shores, but I, I would assume we're heading to Sandy Medical. There, they may have to life flight him to Pillbox. Luckily, the roads are kind of clear today, so we don't really have a whole lot of... Uh, what are you doing, man? What are you, what are you getting in the other lane for? Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy out of the way. Come on, dude. Fill the rumble, dude. Get the fuck out of the way. There you go. There you go. All right, he's going around him. All right, good. I really like the idea of using the... Because I don't really like rumblers, and I don't really like rumbling like the, the, the normal priority sound, but I do like... Um, I like the idea behind them. Alright, looks like we're going to be turning here. I'm going to let him go past. You can cancel checks. Ah, oh, dude, you're right in the way. You're right in the way, man. All right, there we go. The ambulance kind of figured it out. That guy stopped just right in the way. Unfortunately, I think the ambulance may have gotten stuck. Okay, no, no, they're figuring it out. They're going to have to turn around now, though. Let's go ahead and get down here and block them. Let's get down here and block this so they can get turned around okay. I should have been doing that anyway. 
Here we go. Okay, they're still trying to figure it out here. I don't really need my siren on for that. Okay. Dude, quit trying to inch up, man. Do you not see me sitting here with my lights on, motherfucker? Alright. Unfortunately, the ambulance seems to have uh, gotten itself stuck. And we were so close to having a perfect run, too. That's that's awful. I wonder if I'm able to... Uh, I, I wonder how much I will jack its AI up if I just move it. Like that. Okay, let's try this. Let's try moving it to its to its finish location. There we go. We did it. All right, they made it. They're gonna get that officer into. Uh, they're gonna get that officer into uh, into surgery. Hopefully, he's gonna be all right. We'll try to find out about that later. And I guess we're gonna get back down into the township and uh, we'll get back on patrol. What was that turn? He was. Kind of creeping through it, and definitely over center line when he turned when he made his turn. We're gonna get up here and run his plate. Ten Lincoln Twenty One, can you run a plate? All right, so it's a Regina Lincoln Union King Seven Seven Five Zero. Lincoln Union King Seven Five Zero, a traffic violation. Oh, well, okay. All right. Proceed with caution. Vehicle's not registered. We don't know who the owner is. We got another one of those vehicles that just we don't know anything about. I think they're trying to run. John, you on duty right now? Definitely taking a while to pull over here. They're running. Yeah. Most definitely. What are you trying to do here, man? Stop the goddamn car! Get them out of the car right now. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Stop! Stop! You're gonna get tased! Stop! Don't be don't do be don't be stupid! Get on your knees! On your knees! Put your hands on your head right now! Don't move! Don't move! I can't tell if there's anyone else in the car or not. It looks No, there is a second person in the car. Dispatch, I need more units. Ma'am, don't move. Do not move. Alright. In the car, do not move. Keep your hands up where I can see him inside that car. Uh, can somebody can somebody get her? Can somebody get her? Get her in custody. Somebody get her okay, I, I think I'm doing it. Watch the other one in the car, guys. Watch the other one in the car. Alright, we got her. Let's go ahead and get the other one. Alright, passenger in the station wagon, go ahead and step out with your hands up. I think there's another one in there anyway. Let me move around the car here. Yeah, there is. Passenger of the station wagon, step out of the vehicle with your hands up. Put them up, man. Come on, put them up. Go down to your knees. Go down to your knees. Now put your hands on your head. All right, don't move, man. Don't move. There we go. We got him. That holster up, get this guy in custody. Thank you. My car... 10 Lincoln 21, we've got two in custody. Roger that. 10 15, suspect in custody on uh. What do you guys think about that vest, though? Isn't that pretty cool? Uh, the vest is nice in and of itself, and like I saw, I have a download link for that, but I went ahead and made the textures for the back to so Harmony Township Police, on the, and then I took the patch from the uniform and I put it on the front there, which I thought was kind of cool. But anyway, uh, yeah. Alright, cool. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna get my car off of this Blaine County car real quick here. I'm just going to go ahead and very, very gingerly drive over his hood. There we go. Go ahead and block the road here. Alright, cool. Let's deal with them then. Somebody can hang out with them real quick. I'm going to go ahead and stop traffic too. You know idiots are going to try to drive through here. So, alright, cool. Thanks for coming. Thanks to the Blaine County Sheriff's Office for coming out and trying to help us with this. I really appreciate it. So, alright. Ma'am, what was the deal there? She, uh, she does appear to be uh, under the influence of narcotics, so we were right to make that stop. I thought so. Uh, what'd you try to run from me for? Why did you do that? You're a dead man? Uh, you're good. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I, I feel pretty alive right now, and I, I have a feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay that way, too. So, uh, 
Why don't you go ahead and, uh, at this point I want to advise you, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, will be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights? Screw you, pig. Okay, so it's like that. Alright, cool. Dispatch, can we get a female officer? Alright, I thought that it would work, but that's okay. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Here comes a Pete. She's just driving out of that party. She must have taken a nap back there or something. Hey, look at that. They, they serendipitously left her a space to get through, and I think she's still going to hit a car. Nope. Okay, I don't know where... Uh, I don't know why it does these things. And I really don't like it. I, I wonder if there's a way to... St okay, lady, you can stop wherever. I wonder if there's a way to... Located in Stop them from taking off after people. There probably is. Anyway, all right, I'm just going to pat her down. All right. Go ahead, turn around and face away from me. I'm going to go ahead and pat you down. All right, so a far left-wing flyer, a phone number on a napkin, a marijuana prescription, a far right-wing pamphlet. She's up. Uh, equal opportunity reader, blood glucose meter, an out-of-state valid gun permits, uh, an unloaded SIG. Uh, Sig 45 and then a GoPro. All right, this is a uh, a Sima Kagawa. I believe we've dealt with a Sima before. So, all right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in a car. Then. All right, come on now. Good. They appear to have uh, they appear to have figured it out. So uh, that's great. I guess I'll all come back now. I'm gonna go ahead and have her have a seat in this car here. All right, man, have a seat. Thanks for hanging on to her, man. All right, let's go over here and talk to this guy. See what's going on with him, man. He might not be going to jail. It'll just depend, really. So, hey, bud. So, can you can you tell me what that was all about, man? Like, any idea why she was running? Let me see here. Let's see. Actually, it's this one, I think. No, it's this one. Can you tell me what happened, man? You think they you 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 think they stabbed somebody? Oh well, shit. Okay. All right, man. Um. Well, okay. All right. Well, I appreciate you being cooperative with us, man. At this point, I just want to let you know you're being detained. You're not under arrest. She absolutely is under arrest, okay? You got me fucked up, man. I haven't done nothing. I feel you, man, but you're riding in a car with somebody who tried to run from us, man. We just got to get this shit sorted out, okay? Your buddy's going to jail. What'd they do? Man, you were in a car with them. You know what they did. They took off running from me. She tried to run from me on foot, man. You know you know what happened here. So, all right, man. Listen, do you have anything illegal on you, man? Because we're going to pat you down and find out. You're not saying nothing. All right, man. Well, go ahead and turn around and face away from me. So if you ain't got nothing, man, you ain't going to jail. You be all right. I ain't trying to hit you up for, you know, beating a car with somebody. All right, she's got to unload a Charter Arms 38 Special, a uh, Hawaiian snow receipt, a can of Sprunk, a uh, carabiner with multiple keys, and a naked photograph of the subject. This is Chuck Carmichael. All right, Chuck. You got a permit for this gun, homie? You don't? Okay. All right, well, let's ask him about it. You got a permit for this gun, homie? You need it for self-defense? Well, it's not loaded, so I'm not really buying that. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and have a seat over here. All right. I'll be cool. I ain't going to put you in a car, but you're going to come over here and have a seat by this car, okay? Stop right there. You can stop right there, and you can just go ahead and kneel down on the ground for me, okay? All right. Hang out there for me. What is it with, with this scene and putting cars on top of cars? At least it wasn't my car this time. All right. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and search the car here. Better get the plate number make sure it's actually her car, too. Alright, well, oh, there it is. Uh, green bandana and empty suitcase. A uh, duffel bag containing 25 baggies of clumpy white powder weighing a gram and gram a piece package for sale. Okay, alright, cool. Well, let's see who is on who. Let's let's ask him about the dope, see what he says about it. If somebody owns up to it, man, he, he still doesn't have to go to jail. That's looking really unlikely right now, but alright, man, listen. At this point, I want to tell you you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, to be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. I also want to. I also want to reiterate that you're not under arrest at this point. But I do want to. I do want to let you know about your rights. Okay. Do you understand that? You don't. Okay. Well, basically, what that means is you don't have to answer any questions if you don't want to. And with that in mind, are you going to answer my questions? I'm not going to twist your words around, man. So, okay. All right, dude. If you don't want to answer your questions, that's fine. But there's a shit ton of dope in that car, and uh, if you're not going to talk to me about it, man, I'm a, I'm gonna have to take you too, man. Are you? Uh, are you a hundred percent sure? Does you don't want to answer my question? 
Okay. All right, man. That's cool. I appreciate that. So, all right, that's totally fine, dude. But here's the thing. Like, who do the narcotics in the car belong to, man? They must belong to your boyfriend who was with you earlier. Okay, all right, but so you were so you were aware of them being in there. All right, man. That sucks. He got guns on him too. Let's go ask her about it and see. All right, Miss Kagawa. All right, Miss Kagawa, what's the dealio with all the dope in the car? I'm just a mule. They belong to the Aztecas. All right. All right, so you're just muling it for the Aztecas. Okay, are you affiliated with the Aztecas at all? Fuck you, puta. All right, well, I'm going to take that as a yes. That's a, it's not a Hispanic name that she's got going on there, but that's all right. You know what? All right, cool. So let's go ahead and... Uh, all right, well, at this point, I think they're... I, honestly, I think at this point, they're all going to be under arrest. So, yeah, let's go tell him he's under arrest, so... All right, man, I do want to inform you that at this point you are under arrest, bud. So, all right, let's go ahead and get him into a car. Go ahead and hop up for me. I'll help you up. Get him into this Taurus right here. Or not. Not. Yeah, yeah, Taurus. Yeah. All right, man, have a seat in the back of the car here, dude. Y'all can sort this shit out later. All right, here we go. Hi. Hello. All right, hey. thanks for coming out, guys. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, I went to make a stop on it back in Harmony when it was coming through the uh, the intersection. Just made a stupid turn, man. What did we get? We got a shit ton of dope off the off the street there. I don't remember how much it was. But we're gonna find out here in a second while I test it. Go ahead. Right. I'll cover you. I appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll check on the guns too since we're here. All right, cool. We got a duffel bag, 25 baggies of clumpy white powder weighing a gram a piece. They're packing it for sale. So we got 25 grams of whatever this stuff is. Let's see if it's cocaine. I think it's gonna be meth or heroin, honestly. Nope, it's cocaine. All right, they got 25 grams of cocaine. So, okay. All right, cool. So she's mealing some coke for the uh, for the Aztecas. Let's check on the guns then. We got two guns. They both had guns on them, uh, but they're both unloaded guns. I don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe they were given the guns by the Aztecas and they didn't give them bullets and they're too stupid to check or or what. But anyway. Or if these guys are just some really amateur Bonnie and Clydes. So, alright. Well, that one's got a scratch serial number. Alright, but this one doesn't. This, uh, this, uh, this revolver doesn't. He had the revolver, I believe. Yeah. And it's not registered, but that's okay. So, alright, cool. So, one's got a scratch serial number, one's not registered. Alright, cool. Let's run their names. They actually haven't got a chance to do that yet. No, and I haven't actually run the car yet, either. Should probably, actually, yeah, before we do this, I guess we should do that. Let's go ahead and pop over here and do that real quick. Get the plate number off the car right quick. There we go. Excuse me. Alrighty. You guys really don't have to follow me around. It's fine. All right, so the vehicle, the the Regina, belo oh yeah, that's right. We don't know. We don't know whose car this is. That's right. I, I forgot at this point. So uh, probably a stolen vehicle at this point. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and charge it that way. Probably stolen by the Aztecas for their use in uh, muling, which is kind of weird because you're gonna get stopped for that. It's kind of strange. It's almost like they, almost like they set them up to get stopped. All right, she's valid and clear. No criminal priors. He's also vowed and clear with no criminal priors. So, all right, cool. First time, first time Mueller's get busted. Sounds good, man. Let's go ahead and get him charged. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get ourselves back on the road. That guy just 100% ran that stop sign. 10 like a 21. You can show me on a stop. And you can tell he knew he was in trouble because look how slow he was going as soon as he ran that stop sign and we pulled up behind him. So you can tell he knew. We're going to have him pull up off the road a bit. I might have sent him too far. All right. And then we're going to uh, have him go a little bit more forward. Like that. And that should do it. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. All right. 
let's go ahead and uh, see what we've got here. You can see I brought the Tahoe out for you guys. I had to restart the game anyway, so figured I might as well. Uh, it's Bobcat XL. Uh, boy, boy, Victor Frank, 2345, uh, expired insurance. Uh, Donald Smith is the RO. Donald Smith is valid and clear. Uh, he's been stopped for expired registration before, as well as failure to turn as directed by signal and hunting without a license, so no big deal. Okay. Uh, expired insurance. Probably not going to let him drive out of here, but we'll see. So, okay. Now let's go make contact with him. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm Officer Devin, Harmony Township Police Department. Do you have your ID, proof of insurance, all that good stuff on you, bud? You Trying got to your ID. nervous and sweating, okay. Alright, so we do have Donald Smith here. He is showing yeah, us invalid, man. uh, invalid insurances. Insurance expired back in December of, uh, 2020. So it's been about five months, so. Okay. Alright, man. Uh, hey, I just want to let you, let, let, well, let's check a seatbelt. Does have a seatbelt on. That's nice of him. Alright, man, I just want to let you know my body camera's recording. Great. Alright, cool, man. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over today, bud? Uh, I want to state for the record this interaction is being recorded. Yeah, I, I just said that, and if you're recording me, that's totally fine too, man. I'll let you know why. I, I'll let you know why I pulled you over, bud. The reason I pulled you over was you ran a stop sign back there, coming off of Calafia onto uh, Joshua. No one was coming. Who cares? Or actually, somebody was coming, and I was also coming. So, like, just because, and even if nobody's coming, like, you you, you still got to stop at a stop sign, man. It's it it, it it's a, it's a safety thing, dude. But let me ask you a question, man. You, you seem really nervous, dude. Are you okay? Everything all right? Probably the weed you just smoked. Okay, man. All right, cool. Well, hey, listen. One other thing for you, man. Um, you know, your insurance is expired. I know, but I have to deliver something real quick. Oh, okay. All right, dude. So you said, uh, so you said you used, uh, you, you said you, uh, you said you smoked some weed today. Is that right? Well, I mean, the uh, it's, 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 uh, same thing you just said to me, man. You just, you just said you smoked some weed, dude. Why don't you go ahead and hop out of the car for me, okay? All right, man. I appreciate you. Ten Lincoln Twenty One. Can you start me another unit? I don't understand why that's not working all of a sudden, but okay. Right. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and pop over here real quick, okay? Come on, man. He seems pretty unsteady on his feet, so there is that. Blaine County coming out with us, so. Alright, man. So, how long ago did you smoke that weed, man? Uh, let's see here. I think I could probably use this. You prefer not to say? Okay, dude. Well, let me ask you this, dude. You know, since you told me you smoked some weed, uh, I believe you might be, a, I believe you might be impaired. Hey there. Um, let's see here. Do you want to... I don't think we actually got any impairment off of them. Do you want to take some field sobriety tests? You, okay. Alright, man. I appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and run through a couple of tests. The first test we're going to do is the horizontal gaze and stagnus test. I'm going to hold this pin up in front of your face. So you're going to go ahead and follow with your eyes. Don't move your head while you're doing it, though. Just follow this with your eyes, okay? All right, man. So here we go. All right, he definitely looks like he's turning his head. I can't really tell, though. No, I don't think he did. No, he passed. Okay. All right, man. That's cool. One more test for you, dude. We're just gonna do. Uh, let's see here. We'll do the. Uh, we'll do the one-legged stand. You can put your arms at a 45 degree angle. You can put your leg up. Uh, I don't care which one it is. You're gonna count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, all the way to ten, one thousand, and uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, just start whenever you're ready. All right, man. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Okay, yeah. Looks like he's good. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. He appears to be, he appears to be, uh, he appears to be all right. So, you know, honestly, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not, I'm not taking him for OVI. That's, that's, that's great, man. So, let me ask him this. So, all right, man, do you have anything illegal on you want to tell me about? You're not answering? Okay, all right, dude. Do you mind if I go ahead and just patch you down for my safety? Okay, all right, man. Well, that's totally fine. Then. Let's go ahead and, uh, 10 Lincoln 21. Do we have a dog available? Roger. Alright, man, we're going to go to the canine area. Alright, man. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see here. We got the dog coming. Alright, cool. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start writing your ticket, man. I'll be right back with you, okay? Looks like the dog's showing up. That's cool. Try and let the dog go around the vehicle here. I did not do his shirt right, apparently. Whoops. 
Come on, buddy. Oh, no, wait. Is he wearing a vest? Oh, he's wearing a vest. Okay, that's why. I did do a shirt right. He's wearing a vest. Ah, yes, he has the, uh, if you take a look here, he has the Blaine County Sheriff's Office uh, K-9 unit shirt on. So, yeah, he's he's good. All right, man. K-9 ready? All right, cool, dude. I appreciate you. you go ahead. In the name of... Go ahead and do your thing, man. Let me try to get out of your, try to get out of your way, man. Sorry, chop. <laughs> All right, they're inspecting the vehicle here, so. All right, man. So, at this point, you're not under arrest. You know, and I appreciate you taking the field sobriety tests and whatnot. But uh, they're going to run a dog around your car. If the dog alerts on anything, then, you know, I'm going to search your car. Do, 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 do you understand that? You want to see a supervisor? Uh, okay, hey. Hey, deputy, you guys got a supervisor you can get out here? Dispatch, do we have a Blaine County supervisor we can get out here? Copy that. There we go. All right, man. That's fine. Fine. Absolutely. We'll get a supervisor out here for you. No problem. All right. So what did the dog say? I, did, I didn't see it. So did the dog alert on the car or not? Where'd they go? Where did they even go? He went back to his car. Uh, okay, now let me look and see. I don't know if we got it or not. I want a supervisor... So that's not going to tell me. Oh, the K K9 did not alert. Okay. All right. All right, cool. Well, whatever, then I guess we're just going to let this guy go. Honestly, so. All right, well, I'm going to write him his ticket. Okay, well, let me go write him his ticket once the supervisor gets up here. Here she is. Hello. All right, man, here's the supervisor for you. She's come out to talk to you. So if you all want to talk for a minute, let's see here. There we go. Yeah, she's going to come over and talk to him. So, all right, man. Hey, Sarge, uh, he just, uh, actually, I don't think we have a sergeant. What do we have? We have, we have a lieutenant. Wow, you got a lieutenant, man. You, you should feel special. Hey, LT, uh, yeah, he just wanted to talk to the supervisor because I stopped him for running a stop sign, and he was just acting really cagey and told me he smoked some weed, passed field sobriety tests. I brought a dog out to, yeah, you guys brought a dog out to search his car, didn't find nothing. He said he wanted to talk to the supervisor. I'm going to write his ticket. I'll be back. So, all right, man. Cool. They're gonna hate me. They're gonna be like, this fucking Harmony Township cop causing so many problems for us. So, alright, cool. La last time they help us, probably. Alright, Donald. Donald's getting a ticket for, uh... No, not an arrest report. Donald's getting a ticket. I'm so used to arresting people. I don't write tickets very often, do I? Uh, he's getting a ticket for, uh, running a stop sign. So, failure to stop at a stop sign. Uh, there we go. And then also for uh, register uh, driving a uninsured vehicle. Um, yeah, that'll do it. So let's go ahead and do that there. Got to talk to him again. Okay, Mr. Smith, I wrote you two tickets today. Um, you're going to be receiving a ticket for running that stop sign back there at Calafia, as well as, uh, you're going to get one for, um, you're going to get one for, uh, uh, your inspired insurance, man. So, all right, man, but, uh, you're free to go as soon as we all get back to our vehicles, turn off our lights, all that good shit. Uh, here's your ticket. If you'll just sign here for me, it's not an admission of guilt. It's just you let me know you're going to take care of it in court. You'll take care of it in court. You're going to have a warrant. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, man, you're going to be free to go. You can return to your vehicle. And, uh, yeah, when all these people get out of here, you're, uh, you're gonna be free to go, man. Thanks for coming out, guys. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, alright. Well, that's gonna... That's gonna pretty much do it there. They're gonna... He's gonna be on his way, and... They're gonna be off that stop, and I think... I think we got time for some more, so we're gonna... We're gonna get back out there. Citizens reporting suspect is carrying okay. a weapon on um, I'm a one caller report suspect with a mental disorder carrying a weapon. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking we should probably get out there. Code 3. Excuse me, Mr. Blaine County Unit. Would you mind getting the hell out of my way? Okay. He sure did. That was interesting. 10 Lincoln 21. You can show me the area. Roger that, 10, 23. I see our caller. Dispatch, I'll be out with my caller. 
What? No, that's not what I said. Dispatch, you can clear the channel. There we go. It's definitely not what I said. Hi, right, hello, are you the caller? Yes, sir, I saw a girl with a gun wandering around nearby. Do you have any more information about her? I guess she has, like, a mental disorder. That's, that's really all I know. All right, man, well, we're going to try to find her. Stay safe in the house. Okay, be careful, officer. All right, cool. All right, dispatch, I'm going to be checking the area for a female supposedly armed. Okay, all right. Code 6, if you say so, dispatch. All right, let's go ahead and head out this way. 10 Lincoln 21, can I have the channel? Attention, this is dispatch. Alright. Let's go see if we can find this chick here. She might be wandering around up here somewhere. I'm gonna take this. There, there she is, right there. Dispatch, I'm gonna be out with them. I need backup now. Copy that. Dispatch, start me more cars. Dispatch to, um, 10. Lincoln, 21. Check up. Cancel checks. Roger. Backup required. And Grande Sonora Desert. Alright, come on, here we go. Ma'am? You need to stop right now. Ma'am, you need to stop right now. Stop right now. Ma'am, I will not tell you again. Stop right now or you will be tased. Put that weapon down. No, you don't. Stop right now. Don't even try it, lady. Don't even fucking try it. You're gonna get tased again. Taser deployed. Don't move. Don't move. Alright, we got her in custody. 10 Lincoln 21, I've got her in custody. Hello. 10-4. Dispatch, show one in custody. 10 copy that. Code six. There we go. Copy that. Ten, Where the hell do you six. think you're going, lady? I'm about to t Okay, you know what? You don't get to just walk off. I'm going to tase you again if you don't stop. I'm going to tase you again if you don't stop. Okay. All right. Thank you. Go ahead and get a hold of her here. Dispatch, you can clear the channel. I don't think that's the one I needed because I think it's Riches that's doing it. Hello. Release the channel. Attention. There we go. This is dispatch. We are code four. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to get her back to our car, and then we're going to. Uh... There's another unit for us. Appreciate another. That's another Harmony. Or not Harmony. That's another. Yeah, Harmony. That's another Harmony unit came out for us. So, cool. All right. Well, anyway, this is uh, Los Santos County that came out to help us here. I guess Blaine County said, "Fuck us. They're 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 done with us." Hey, thanks for coming. Why don't you guys meet me back over at my car, and we will, uh, we're gonna figure, we're gonna figure this out. Okay, so we let some of the other cops get out of here, but the, the two ladies stayed behind. Uh, in fact, we'll just let her get out of here, too. And me and the other Harmony unit will, uh, I cannot dismiss, but, okay, all right, there we go. We'll do this then. All right, me and the other Harmony unit will handle this. Ma'am, I appreciate you coming out and helping me out, though I really do. Thanks yeah, so much. Have thanks. a good one. All right. We got this now. So, all right, ma'am. Well, what was that all about? Why why were you walking around with that gun? What were you doing? Do you know who I am? I'm going to find out who you are. Do you want to tell me who you are? Um, But why were you... I mean, first of all, why did you try to run from me like that? You didn't mean to? Well, how did you not mean to? You were you were running. Like, it's that simple. Why were you, why were you walking around with that weapon? Yeah, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, I want to point you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand? Okay, alright. So, where'd you get that gun from? Because that, that firearm is, is an automatic weapon. Where'd you where'd you get it from? Fuck you? You got it from fuck you? Where, where Where's that at, man? I want to check out their inventory. Where, what are you carrying it around for? Okay, it, it might be your right to be armed, but it's not your right to carry around an automatic weapon and, and not stop when I tell you to, because I told you several times to stop. So, all right, well, do you have anything else illegal on you you want to tell us about? You want your lawyer? Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and we, we, will you pat her down, please, partner? I appreciate you.
let's see here. Alright, so she's got a bottle of water, a facade smartphone, some loose change, a baggie containing some brown powder, and a laminated card of some sort. Her name is Alessa Martin. Okay, alright, you wanna Come hang out? On. I'm sorry, hang out with her for a second if you don't mind. I'm gonna pat her down just to find out what that laminated card is. Just because I'm, I'm curious. I'd have to see if there's anything else. I don't know what this note written in a foreign language is about. It could just be gibberish. Because she's got some kind of mental disorder. Okay, well, apparently it's just not going to show us. So, all right. Let's go see what that powder is. Well, let's ask her. Nope, she nope, she asked for her lawyer, so we're not going to ask her any more questions. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, what do you have? What, what, what do we have earlier? Cocaine? Wow. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and see if this is... Uh, I feel like this might be meth. And it's not meth. Okay. Let's just get this out of the way. Nope. Okay. Is it cocaine? Is it more cocaine out here in Harmony? Nope. Is it heroin? Heroin wouldn't be too surprising. Yep, it's heroin. Okay. So she's got a small baggie of heroin. Okay. Alright. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's see here. So, anything else we want to ask her? Yeah, we got the gun on her. She didn't point the gun at us, so I'm not going to be charging her for that. I will probably charge her for disturbing the piece she was apparently brandishing at other people, but we don't have a victim. But uh, I'll figure it out for that one. But also, obstruction. Uh, she's got the heroin on her. Luckily, she didn't have to die today. I'm, I'm glad that happened that way. She didn't... Uh, she didn't end up having to uh, get shot. She surrendered when we asked her to. Also, what do you guys think of my beanie? You guys like that hat? I do. I think it's pretty cool. So, all right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and run her name. See if she's got anything going on there, though. She doesn't. No criminal history at all. So, all right, cool. Well, all right, well, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, this scene and this episode. So I'm going to get her charged. And then we will uh, we'll do the court thing. All right, we've got a couple people we want to do the court thing with today, so let's go ahead and do that. We've got four to do. First was uh, Asama Kagawa. We ended up stopping her. Uh, she was driving the station wagon and didn't want to pull over for us. We watched her make a uh, an improper turn and didn't want to stop for us. We ended up charging her with failure to comply with signal of an officer because she took off from us. Uh, there was a duffel bag with 25 grams of uh, cocaine packaged for sale in the car, so that's where the trafficking in crack cocaine, or cocaine or crack cocaine comes from, between at 25, so that makes the felony two, just barely missing felony one there. Uh, she had an unloaded pistol on her, so carrying a concealed weapon as a misdemeanor one. Receiving stolen property for the vehicle, we don't know whether it was stolen or not. Uh, I think the charge is likely valid. Um, we'll see if the court bails, bears us out on it. And then having a gun in possession while committing the crime of trafficking. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the court did bear us out on it. She did get 14 months for it. She's going to do nine years and two months. Uh, she has a 111 year like or 111 month license suspension when she gets out, so she won't be driving legally for quite a while. Uh, she'll be what? She'll be almost 32. She'll be 31 when she gets out. So yeah, there we go. Excellent. All right, cool. Uh, and now her partner, uh, Chuck Carmichael, ended up charging him with the same basic things. He was complicit in the. We we imagine he was her partner, and he was complicit in. The receiving the stolen property and also in the in the running, uh, he's going to get charged with the trafficking as well and carrying a concealed weapon, uh, as well as having a gun in possession during a crime because he also had an unloaded firearm on him. And he is going to do eight years and four months. He was found not guilty of having a gun in possession in a crime, but was found guilty of uh, carrying a concealed weapon. I'm going to assume that his lawyer just got him a deal to get that gun spec dropped so he would lose the uh, he would he he would serve that last year. So. Interesting, they almost would have had exactly the same charge. Uh, he would have gotten two months more had he gotten that gun spec. That's uh, kind of serendipitous there. I like that. Donald Smith ended up giving him tickets for driving an uninsured vehicle as well as failure to stop at a stop sign. Uh, he was the guy that admitted to us he smoked marijuana but passed all the field sobriety tests. We had no, you know, it's, it's, it's not illegal to be under the influence and drive. It's, or I'm sorry, it's not illegal to smoke weed and drive. It's illegal to be under the influence and drive. Uh, the way I treat weed is it's not a big deal. He didn't have any on him. It, it is what it is. I wasn't looking to him him up over it. He was safe to drive. So uh, the dog came out, sniffed his car, didn't find nothing in the car. So apparently he was all nervous. I don't know why, but uh, probably just paranoid because of the weed he smoked. Who knows? But uh, anyway, he's going to owe us, uh, let's see, he was found not guilty of driving an uninsured vehicle, so he probably went and, he probably had insurance, but it wasn't updated. He probably didn't have a, you know, it, it, whatever happened in the system there just wasn't coming back valid. He went and either got insurance before his court date and showed it to the judge that decided to drop the charge. It happens sometimes, that's cool, but he's still going to owe us $137 for the, uh, 
for running the stop sign. And in Alyssa Martin, uh, we just dealt with her. Uh, I didn't end up charging her with inducing panic or anything, but uh, she's going to be charged for obstruction and resisting arrest. Now, obstruction comes from not stopping when I told her to. And resisting is going to come from uh, moving around while she had the cuffs on, trying to walk away from us. Uh, possession of heroin. She had a small baggie of heroin on her, and then also possession of charging devices for the uh, the Glock 18 that she had in her possession, which I'd really like to know where these people are getting these fucking Glock 18s from. We can shut that shit down. So, All right, she's going to end up doing a year and eight months. Um, so that'll work, yeah. So she'll be... Hopefully she can get the psychiatric help that she needs while she's in uh, jail, if indeed she has some kind of... Uh, mental issue so all right cool i hope everybody enjoyed this episode of devon plays lspdfr uh i know i did i thought it was a lot of fun so i hope you guys liked it um got a lot more cool stuff coming for you here soon but uh you know as always y'all stay safe out there okay